for an all-out assault to try and erase that one-goal deficit from Friday's first leg at Gillingham. They certainly took over the bulk of the attacking, but Phil Kite, the former Bristol Rovers goalkeeper, was in grand form, especially against his former Rovers teammate, Steve White, who he frustrates there for the second time. And after 16 minutes in a rare Gillingham attack, how about this? Gillingham were to score. Howard Pritchard wants of Swindon lays it back. Haylock knocks it in, and watch this. Pick that out of the net. Carl Elsie, what a beauty. And it had doubled Gillingham's aggregate lead to 2-0. Meanwhile, the inevitable kite continued to fly all over the place to keep Swindon out. And when Steve White did get the ball past his old teammate, the crossbar saved Gillingham. The second half was to begin with White's mood turning black now as yet another strike went wrong. He can't believe it. When Phil King made wing progress and tall Dave Bamber connected, the header was downward and good, but just wide. Peter Coyne was next to get into a scoring possession, but missed the net. And when a, another lucky break for the visitors, Barnard's effort hits the crossbar. But Swindon were persistent. Finally, Peter's coin did score. And it was the help of substitute Charlie Henry for number four coin to get it home. Now the uh, Swindon fans had got the goal they wanted. They needed one more to force a third match. And it was substitute Charlie Henry who obliged. A big moment for Henry's first Swindon goal this year after being loaned out to fourth division clubs. And he may, may be needed again on Friday. So what did Swindon's manager Lou Macari think? Our boy showed tremendous character. Um, tremendous is a word I don't think that's strong enough to, to show the, the sort of the way they played and the way they kept going. And you saw for yourself chance after chance, uh, crossbar just past the post. And I think everyone on the ground thought, well, they're not going to score tonight, but they kept going and we're still there. Talking about a fight, it looked a bit like the Alamo in your penalty area most of the time. Yeah, we had to soak up a lot of pressure, but um, at times I thought the gods were smiling on us, and at the end of the day, we've still got another chance, and we're looking forward to Friday. What's the players' view of the playoffs? Um, obviously, from our point of view, it's given us a great chance. Gillingham have come fourth and fifth in the last two seasons, just missed out. Um, obviously, the Swindon lads in, with the old system would have gone straight up. But it's good for us. It, it, it excites the fans. It brings in a good revenue for, for the club. So, um, obviously, from our point of view, we're, we're really enjoying it. So, details then for Friday's third match at Selhurst Park. They're on sale now. There are 15,000 for Swindon. Kick-off is 8pm. The match is not...